It's just after eight in the morning and preparations are well underway for Rice Tafel, a traditional Dutch Indonesian feast. Rice Tafel is a uh, Dutch word, of course. Uh, rice is uh, rice and Tafel is table. And that is a relic of the colonial times in Indonesia. The group are used to cooking for large numbers. 35 people live together in this commune in the hills behind Cairns in far north Queensland. Nine families who live together and eat together every night. Uh, we're a Christian-based uh, community. And we, we like, we've been living like this together since the 1930s and started off in Indonesia. And then when Indonesia got their independence, they, a lot of people left from there. It was too hard for the Dutch to live there. And how often would you have rice tuffle? Oh, we would have that probably a couple of times a month, easily. We would have it together like this, with a variety of cooks. People and people like the younger people are starting to learn how to take over from the older generation. Danny is hard at work rolling sweets. It's got um, rice flour with water, with pandan essence in it, and palm sugar is rolled into it. And then it's boiled and then once it's cooked it's rolled in the coconut. Sounds lovely. Yeah. So you're the satay experts? Oh well I wouldn't call us experts. Well it's uh, been handed down from um, our parents and they have taught us how to uh, make these satays. Uh, it's pork with um, a soya sauce, a sweet soya sauce. There's a salty soy sauce, the sweet one, and, and this is the sweet one. A touch of lemon, lemongrass, ginger, brown sugar, coriander. coriander bit of turmeric and then you leave it overnight you know and it, and it really um, sets in the way you uh, fry it is on a, with, with hot coals which gives it that smoky flavor you know so that's a, that's a secret <laughs> Carla gets her satay sauce underway by frying onions and garlic with ground coriander chili paste called sambal ulak and a little balachan or dried fish paste. Well, this is a traditional way which is all very well, but otherwise it would stand here for ages, so I put it in my food processor. The mixture is returned to the stove and doan salam leaves, a dried Indonesian bay leaf, and dried kaffir lime leaves added. Carla likes a slice of red ginger or galangal and a large jar of peanut butter. What did you do before peanut butter? Oh, before peanut butter, that, that's uh, peanuts. Uh, you fry them first and then you pound it like I did, like how I started. A lot of onions. hard work. Yeah, a lot of hard work. It really takes ages to prepare a meal in the original way. When the sauce is simmered slowly and oil appears on the surface, it's removed from the heat and lemon and ketchup manis, sweet Indonesian soy sauce, is added. Meanwhile, Peggy prepares her signature beef rendang. We put everything in the blender. We put chilli, lemongrass, candle nuts, ginger, Lots of onion and lots of chopped up garlic. And then I've got a bit of oil in there and I'm going to put coconut milk in. I'm going to put in the coriander and the turmeric. Lemon leaves, salt, a little bit more coconut milk, tamarind liquid. How long does it take to cook? At least an hour and a half, sometimes two, two and a half hours, because it's a stewing steak, <coughs> chakra blade. That really brings the flavours out. Come, you ate A true rice tafel can have up to over 100 dishes. A rice tafel was dished up and, and, and offered to uh, the colonial rulers or amongst the sultans themselves to show off their wealth. 